The bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, God, Jesus. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing me adding. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. Fucking hell. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> Flying a fighter yet. Forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge. Forget that. Uh, let's see. Been there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Just whales. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest sort of thing. Um, Their tongue is as big as an elephant. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weirder if it had a human one. Human size. If you said it's that big and yet its tongue is human sized, I'd still <laughs> want to see it. So, we'll send you to Alaska to watch. Would you be interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Or Inuits, now. Uh, you don't say Eskimo. It's a derogatory term. Who's come up with that little problem for them? I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. <laughs> Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget. They prefer dwarf. And all that. Eskimos, what would be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, well. leprechauns <laughs> don't exist. No, but, but it's on the same line. Leprechauns do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. They what do like leprechauns it. prefer to be called? Gnomes, or... <laughs> there, there's something... <laughs> leprechauns there's something... prefer to be called gnomes! So confused. Oh, God! I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is who's getting offended. It's always someone else. Right. Whale watching, yeah? Good. Right. I think I moaned a lot last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, God, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war and kicking off, it's always the hot ones. It's because you get agitated. But I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. It's like they're just cool. I think the cold is going to be tricky, but I'll, I'll handle it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. If there is a whale, I'll probably miss it. Because it's, I mean, look, look at that. How are you feeling? A little bit jet lagged. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. But I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? Hello, mate, Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I were talking, and um, we thought it would be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chat to take you um, via the scenic route. All right? Okay, so travels. Bye. Well, it's meant to be global warming. Ice is melting and all that. There's loads of it. Hello. Marty. Yes, Marty Rainey. How are you doing? Well, you must be Carl. I am, yeah. Have you been shopping? Well, I brought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack is on there, the same pack as I, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Um... Where are we going? Do we honestly need this? I think you're carrying a lot of extra... No, we need that. This is very serious business. Just this seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for a walk. OK, stop and listen. Oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting like, for you. I, I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I it's like It's like that. spiritual. But that's what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Oh, Thank you. Bastard. 
Hey, partner, you all right? I don't understand how you're doing it. Carl, this is called... Are, are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You want to take a break? I'm not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get up and keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. You, use Come your poles. On, yeah. You all right? Yeah. God, you're fucking bastard. Surely it's good to keep your energy in case you need it. If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because you've been wading through five foot snow. You okay? Oh, fucking hell. Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just flipped over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that at home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Columbo box set. In for the day. Oh! What? What happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Do you want help? No, no, it's all right. I can sure. do this. Carl. I'll come back and help. No, don't be coming back. Those are my skis. Don't lose them. <laughs> this is awesome. Are you OK, bud? Yeah, I've sorted it. You all right? Yeah. What? You're using a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say, yeah. Then I'm using my breath up. OK. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking lunatic. Can you drink this? Yes. It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that OK? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. I think, I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. And when do you use that? I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. When, at what point, how deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? I'm just worried, because I'm going in Marty's footsteps, so if he's been on dog shit. Let's roll. What are we doing? Are we doing a bit of skiing? I'm worried about that. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, look at that knobhead on a slide. It's a grown man, what's he doing on a slide? But for me, it's the same. Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. Come on, keep your legs together. Fucking okay, hell. Grow up. Stop messing about on hills. OK, and then you go up, you can go up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled and a pack, I know. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. I mean, even Eddie Eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an Olympic fella. Concentrate. Nice and perfect. Skis together. Awesome. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. Say it's all right. It's nice. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic. You're good. You're good. Awesome. That was amazing. Nice. It's not easy. We're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark. So we have to be uh, focused. I am. Awesome. Yeah. It's all downhill. Woo! Fucking dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. What's the toilet situation here? There is no toilet. <laughs> but, but there is, there's a room for it. You've, you've gone to the trouble of having the room. All that's not just for changing or privacy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't need privacy. OK, number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yeah, that's not a problem. OK, number two, you make yourself a, a nice, a nice wedged toilet paper, if you will. And I'm not joking. You are kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Hang on, though. Earlier, you were going on about, mate, sure you keep your gloves on. And you just told me to wipe your ass with a chalk ice, basically. And hang on a minute. I've just remembered. You had me eating it over there. You said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. 
Jesus. <laughs> My hands are so cold, I can't even play. I wrote this song, you ready? It goes like this. I really caribou you. I'm a loon when you're a whale. It's hard for me to bear, cause I love you so dear. I really caribou you. Your salmon special to me. Been up for ages. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. Never know when I might like it. I haven't slept, really. Looks cozy, isn't it? That's the problem. I hate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland, nice sort of log cottage. It's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, which, which are fine when they're at home, and you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, Got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless that, doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, heating is essential. Unless they sort of think, oh, back up, you warm up. It's freezing. Doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh, he's out on the, on the road again, getting out in the thick of it. I want to come out and brush my teeth. Hi, <laughs> mate. Uh, it's fucking freezing. Is it? Well, I, I, I looked at the weather forecast where you are, and it said it was only like minus three, minus two. Right. Well, what, what do you mean, though? If that, if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh, nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours, having a wander through five foot well, snow. It's lovely here. It's about 60 degrees here. We just walked from the Hampton to uh, Highgate. We just wandered around going to get a cappuccino or skin up latte or something like that. Spring has really come to uh, London now. Do you know how like, normally you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink, yeah. I'm thirsty. I got up at about two o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. <laughs> so that's, that's where it's like here. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be like the little relaxing bit. Listen, stop complaining because um, I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos uh, and it's in a little town called Barrows, the most northerly point in Alaska. I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. Alright, see you later. See you later. It's just snow and ice and uh, an Eskimo village. Yeah. There's just not a whole lot there. For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. Is that bad? It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. And then the people up there at Barrow, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff, they got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People? Yeah. Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Anything. They'd actually dig you out. They, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge to yeah. food. It's, it's like a fridge. It? It's like a fridge with food. That's it. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say like if you if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or. You know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrow. <laughs> I best go and see these Eskimos then, aren't I? Putting the washing out, is it? Early. He's still in that door. Rosabelle, what are you doing? Come on in. Your name? Carl. 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 Ah. Kunan. Yeah. Kunan. Janie. Welcome Janie. to Top of the World. Yeah, Where no, that's. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. 
freezing. Heat's yeah. meant to rise. Uh-huh. Doesn't hear. <laughs> okay. Freezing. Come Will I take my shoes off? Uh, come here and yap. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. What's your reason to come to Barrow, Alaska? To see a whale. Oh, goodness. Big whale. I, I just want to see one. Just Would see you like one. to see Mactuck? Mactuck. 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 Chuck. Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going on? The outer laying of a bowhead whale. That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Let's have a look. Bowhead whale. We eat it fresh or eat it frozen. It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, I meant swimming, not in a carrier bag. I'll have just a small, a small oh, yeah, piece. Oh, sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having, like, just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little little buffet, them, to that. Just open the fridge, suck on some processed peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy it's smell. Very delicious. You can even... How is it? Can you have Aria, is it good? Oh, chewy, isn't it? Okay, here. That's caribou frozen. We eat it frozen. Mm. Why? Why do you have an oven? You have an oven, but everything's cold. I don't play. Hey, what's up with her now? What's happened? <laughs> I saw that they were old. I thought, great. You know, I can just sit down, they'll probably nod off after a bit, all the excitement of having a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans, I'm going to take you out. And I was thinking, maybe bingo, or something like that with her age, or a bit of shopping, or just something that old people do. It's nice! So what? The weather! Feet are freezing. Yeah! Yeah. But it's OK! Not really. She's got one of those snow bikes. She says, come on, we go, I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. All right, no helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. Do you have to have a licence for one of these? What? I said, do you have to have a licence to drive one of these? She couldn't hear me, I was trying to talk to her. If I need to have a wee... What's that? Are there toilets? Yelling on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <laughs> Her eyes are knackered, her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. She's giving me a headache. <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Is this it? Yeah. Well, there's no else here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, nice. It's the same as where we were. What's that? I said it's the same as where we were. Oh. <laughs> uh. Welcome to Point Barrow. Barrow? Point Barrow. Yay! What's there? Yeah. It's the northernmost point in the whole wide world, right here. All this is ice. Yeah. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. Did you, did you say you bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. Coffee, tea, Oh yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh, brilliant. I know what that's saying, you're on top of the world, means you're over the moon, you're happy. Well, I am, it's freezing, I've got a snotty nose, and my feet are going numb. Sure, I've got frostbite. I just thought there'd be more to it, that's all. I've seen a lot of wild bones knocking about everywhere you look. They're just dotted around, big, massive whale bones. I mean, that's the problem with eating whale, when you think about it. It's not like a chicken, where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. 
you've got a big massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. Everyone knows what you've had for your tea, it's out in the garden, big massive bone, can't get a shot of. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, 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 a glacier mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. You're complaining that it's a bit cold. You're complaining you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand that you chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice calm ocean with the fin sticking out the top. It's all in its head, blurting some water out and a nice bit of music. Where I am now, I'm like in a giant fridge that's got out of hand, is fucking freezing. But this is an experience. This is things to do before you die. It's not like it's dangerous, is it? Well, it is dangerous because there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer or test your prostate, did you? No. No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear, and that's you relax for another year. I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about my testicles right. and my arse. Right. This doesn't happen on Bruce Parry. <laughs> I've got to go. I'll see you later. All right. See you later. See you later. Yeah. See you. Bye. I'm never going to see a whale. What's the point in this programme being in HD? It's a waste of time being in colour. It's giving me a headache. I don't understand it. How can you have all this and the sun? It's weird. But that makes it worse, because it blinds you. But then again, if you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? It's now to look at anyway. I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved, you know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm going to have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if someone needs a bucket picked up or... Just any sort of rubbish, just someone calls you... Sewage. You know, from the toilet. But I didn't realise part of, you know, getting my hands on something was getting my hands on a load of shit. That's a lot, isn't it? Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna stand to the side. So right. if it splashes, I don't get hit. Honey buckets, oh, that's what you call them. Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that someone might call the, the boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. But then when you see it... So there you go. Fast. You don't want to get splashed. It's coming out of the... There you go. Good job. Oh, God almighty. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why he's got that name. It's just a big bucket with thin bags of shit and piss in them. Yeah, that smells my money. That was a lot of shit in that. It's heavy, isn't it? It can be. Sometimes they get filled to the rim. Apparently not every house has them but there's still like a load of them that just have these honey buckets, which plastic buckets, you stick the proper toilet seat on them and you can just have them anywhere in your house. The more I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home and no matter where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. Because sometimes it is annoying when football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time instead yeah. of just going, yeah. actually, just get the honey bucket, sit in front of the yeah. telly and do it. They don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Things to do before you die. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
next one. Let's get this done as quick as we can. So I can't be dealing with this. What's that load like? You think it's fine and then you disturb it. The smell wakes up. Oh, don't do that again. People called him up. As we're driving along, his, his radio thing was going, going quick, quick, get to number 188 or whatever. And it's like, Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen? Frozen! When was it last picked up? The other day, they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. He seemed livid, but they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird worry, isn't it? That you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Yeah, you can have a bucket. You can have that. Thank you. It's all right. Remember to tip me at Christmas. OK, stop messing about now in the Arctic. You've got some whales to see. Uh, I thought it'd be fun if you did it by Husky. But only use them if they're treated well, if they want to pull you along. If not, walk, all right? Don't shower them, don't hit them. Make sure they're fed, make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Make sure their feet aren't sore. If they are, get them little shoes or something. All right, see you later, boy. Oh, all right. How's it going? Hey, you must be Carl. Yeah, Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill? Nice, nice to meet you. This is your team over here. This is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I'm, I'm going. Hey. Sit. This is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. This one's Simon. Simon. Hi, right, Simon. Carl. <laughs> it's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, this is Frank, the cousin, and this is, you know, stepfather of the... And you, you kind of go, oh, right, yeah, and you think, a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. Get to stand here and watch me. stand here and watch me. I'll my dogs up. Well, don't away. He's got a thumb, this. It's like going round to a friend who has got a baby, and he makes me realise I don't want one. Like this. So I got on the back of it. No instructions really. It was like use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down. But that's not enough, is it? Okay. That's still pulling me. I've got my foot on the brake. Keep your foot on the brake. Fucking hell! I'm gonna let go. Fuck me! Fuck off! What up? Hey, hey. Fucking hell, he's a hump! Well done! It reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on the trolley. You do all that and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same rush, you sort of know you're in no control whatsoever. Slow down, you twat! What sort of lake is this? Easy boys, easy boys! Fucking stop! Stop! When the dogs get old, what do they do? And they always sort of, you know, they just retire them. Now, I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. Where's the five foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shouting the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. It looks like you were doing all right there. Fucking oh, fuck! Stop! You fucking shit! Stop! Fucking stop! Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. Well, what's all this here? It's open water, you're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yeah. See, they don't listen, do they? Yeah. Seems to be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. The pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arms are hurting. What? But I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is up there? Slow. Easy, boys. How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? How many hours? Fuck. <laughs> 
finally get some signal, put the phone on, a couple of messages. I think, oh, that's nice. Sue has been missing me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch, or my mum and dad, or something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky, just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. It's still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen, especially not on telly. I certainly don't want to have it done here. It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. Oh. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, well, I'm fine, mate. Where are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. I have I, all I, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Right, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. You know, the glaciers are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting 100 metres a day. I, is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way. You know, they're in the water, the whales are in the water. It's a water-related experience. All right. Enjoy it. I don't know Steve sort of making a big deal about it, like before they've gone. I don't think they'll go, it's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. My auntie Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just thought that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? It's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. I mean, it looks good. I like I like the way it looks. Good colour and everything. But I don't know what what Steve wants me to get from this. And he wants you to appreciate the damage the global warming's doing. Yeah, it's not me who wants to be told. It's Suzanne at home. She's into wasting energy. Air dryer, doing her hair all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient because I'm bald. Not wasting hot water washing my hair. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. What are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. Swimming in glacier water. How close do I need to get? I don't... I, I, it's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. Proper... Climbing there, swimming about, and that goes off, causes a wave, dead. Go on. How's the water out? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. <sighs> Alright. What's your hope? It's pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if there was a whale in here. It'd be a, a reason to get in. Have a look. There's nothing in here. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. I've seen whales on the telly. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I suppose you go out of your way to see it, don't you? It's like your grand, she's in hospital. You go, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. But you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to see something before it dies. Hello? All right. I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Well, listen, don't get ill. We need to have a proper medical. You know what I'm talking about. We need to make sure your prostate and your testicles are OK. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, 
So, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, yeah. but yeah. Right. Well, uh... Well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. Because I made that mistake with Dr. Fox. Never again. No, I don't. Now, today, you're going to go and see what you actually came for in the first place. Whale watching. Um, I've sorted a boat for you. Now, it's not a tourist boat. You know, you're quite privileged again. You're not just being packed in with all the, the, the general punters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat, and um, uh, my man Brian's going to look after you. So once again, an absolute money can't buy experience for you, Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy, man. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots, I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell, what is that doing there? You know, look at the size of that, that's what I want. I'm into fish, I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's one uh, lantern fish, it has a, has a light bulb on its head, like a, a thing, because it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who's into fish, he got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, what's the point? They don't do anything. But I'd have one of them, because I get sick of the leaving the light on and stuff. I'm forever going around turning switches off. Hey, Carl, time to uh, chop, chop, give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. Size large. It stinks. How long are you out for? So, just the night. Pretty clean on the inside, just the outside, it's got fish oil on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Things to do before you die, yeah? And here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there, I don't want to... Someone ran over it. Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So chop chop, move your hands, baby. Move your hands, chop chop chop. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, chop chop. I wanted to see a whale. I didn't know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. I tell you what, he's pacing about out there like a madman. Chop chop! Okay, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just got to get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really bobbing up and down now. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? It's tough, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like fucking death here. Fucking get out of me if you want to be sick. Received 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've got another boat. He's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how long. He's doing this dead in. This is ridiculous. I'm here on the boat over me in Fisherman's Friends. And I'm still... See you later. Is he better inside or out? Dark, dark, dark. I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron, for fuck's sake. King Kong. It's not even funny, this. What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on? Does this tally even work? It's driving me insane. What's going on, man? Can you put the tally on for me, please? Can you put the tally on for me, please? Put the tally on. I don't want to do fish. We never see that with ring it on the tally. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your ring it out and no, no. take it out, man. I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to I didn't come to cut fish. On the galley. It's your fucking King Kong, eh? Driving me insane. 
It's the longest intro. Oh, come on. Sick. What? Huh? What? What? There's some wheels. Seriously? Yeah, some wheels are there. Whereabouts? Well. I can't climb up there. Get into the. Where? I've got to lie down. I'm better when I'm lying down. There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? You're not going to see them from down there, Carl. I'm really not bothered. Tell me when we're right close. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. Here's a tail and all. Um, I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, yeah, relax. All right, boy. See you later. Next time on An Idiot Abroad. I think that would be such a meeting of minds. You'd come face to face with a mountain gorilla, both nude amongst the foliage. There's no way I'm going naked near a gorilla that could rip me head off. It's going to go for whatever's dangling. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, you twat. You cut your hair, you? No, it's not cut. This isn't a style. I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> my dad didn't let the cat in the lounge. Fucking hippo in here. Oh, shit. sure we got the right house? Well, Carl's certainly not a fisherman's friend, is he? Comedian Lee Mack joins Corden, Lampard and Logan for some sportish shenanigans with more brand new League of Their Own next on Sky One HD.